Well, you know, May has been so busy for a lot of us. And now that school's out, some of us might feel like we can finally take a breather uh, with school being out and summer starting an official start to summer today with Memorial Day. We're also using this day to take a look back and reflect and remember. Might also be a good time for us to sort of do a little reset and work on being mindful. Michelle Esri, the owner of Full Well Neurofeedback in Hoover, joins us now live. Uh, Michelle, thanks for being with us today on this Memorial Day. Thanks for having me, Claire. I'm really glad to join you. Okay, so let's start off. I was talking with one of our producers earlier about mindfulness, and she said maybe it might be a good idea to sort of explain what mindfulness is. So tell our viewers what it is. Yeah, mindfulness has sort of become a buzzword. You probably, if you ever go to the grocery store and look at the magazines in the checkout, you're very likely to see something that says something about mindfulness. Um, you know how growing up we're taught to mind our mom, mind our dad, mind those who are around us. Um, you can think of it in a very similar way, minding yourself, minding the signals that your body's giving to you. Um, a really good way to imagine it is, um, you know, our daily lives get really full and really busy. And if we are just going and going and going and never taking a moment to pay attention to what's going on either in our bodies or in our relationships or in our emotions, you know, any of those things, we can miss the opportunity to kind of come down to neutral and calm ourselves down and feel relaxed or take a breath. And that can make a huge influence on our experience of uh, anxiety. You know, if we never come down to, to ground it, we never come down to neutral. If we don't pay attention to those things, we might stay in this escalated fast, fast state all the time. And, you know, as things get busy, as we have stressors, as, as we have difficult things that we're dealing with, um, it can be really important to be mindful, to pay attention to what we're experiencing and to take steps to really deal with that or honor that or um, at least be able to, to come down to neutral every now and then so we don't feel as escalated. And you briefly touched on this, but what are some of the benefits of being mindful if a person is mindful? You know, in the age we live in, it's really easy to not be mindful, right? To To just go, go, go. And if we have a break, let's say, we're waiting in line somewhere, instead of just sitting and sitting calmly, we're likely going to look at a phone or find something to entertain us or do something that's gonna keep us moving. And so if we never settle down, we can often lose some of our ability to come down like that, to come down to kind of a calm, relaxed state. Most of us like the idea of coming down to a calm and relaxed state, but it takes us days of vacation to even get there, right? Because we aren't very practiced at it. It would be like trying to pick up a new sport after having never practiced it. You're not gonna be as good at it as if you would be if you practiced. And so I found the six tips on your Instagram page that I'm gonna show our viewers right here. Yeah. Let's talk about these and explain how our viewers can practice being mindful. Absolutely. Um, I think the ones that you're showing, the first one there says, eat your meals without any distractions. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the really nice things about eating is it's actually something that is really delightful and experiential if you like food, right? You know, most people will say, um, some people are really good at this. They'll sit down and they'll be like, man, this tastes great. But just that moment of doing something that is quiet without a lot of distractions, without looking at your phone, you know, like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I will often like listen to a book or listen to a podcast or something like that while I'm eating if I do have a time by myself, but really to sit and to just be aware of what you're doing. Another thing is to sit in the sunshine um, and be conscious of how it feels. Sunshine is actually yeah. really good for lots of things, including it increases the serotonin levels in our brain um, in addition to other good things that it does. But if we just sit and experience that, right, we're feeling through our body the sensation of the sunshine. Think through the details of completing a daily chore. I know that doesn't sound very relaxing, but if you're focused on details of something, uh, sometimes I'll even say do a math problem, and that sounds also not very relaxing. <laughs> it is going to get your head out of the space where it's just going, 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 and it's going to bring you down to neutral. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, think through all of your senses while taking a shower or bath, you know, just like thinking, what do I smell? What do I see? What do I, I mean, I don't know that you're tasting much in the shower, but you know, what, do I, what, do, yeah. what am I experiencing right now? What am I feeling on my skin? Um, and then listen to music and fully immerse yourself. I know I do this in the car sometimes. <laughs> that might not be the best time to be totally grounded, but if there's no children in the car with me, I can listen oh, yeah. to music and I can just kind of feel more relaxed, feel calm, um, practice mindful breathing. You know, this is, I will say one of my very favorite things to do, and it's kind of a one similar to these is to when I'm at work and I'm really busy and I have maybe five minutes is I will sit 
if I can't go outside, which is one of my favorite things, I will sit and I will look out the window and I will try and pick out, you know, five animals, five birds I can see. I'll try and pick out, you know, can I see the wind? Can I hear, you know, something that's going on out there? Can I, and just paying attention with my senses, what it does is it gets my head out of thinking and it gets me down to a really calm, relaxed, and it makes me feel like my body is safe which is really what we're going for with mindfulness. And again, I love the more that. we practice it, the more we'll be ready when we do need to be able to calm ourselves down to be able to access that. I love that. Well, Michelle, we appreciate you joining us on this Memorial Day. Hopefully this will help us relax. As I know summer can be busy, but hopefully not as busy this, as the school year. And hopefully people will take these tips and be able to start practicing through the summer before we ramp up for another busy school year. I hope so. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Thanks, Claire.